my name's Pam and um, I'm 88 years old and uh, I've been, I was married in 1952, I can't think how many years ago that is now, and I have had four children and um, I'm happy, I'm on my own, but I'm surrounded by loving ones and I'm, I live a very happy and uh, busy life. Uh, well, when I, when I first found out about the diabetes type 2, it was because my son, who was about to be married, had a medical test for insurance purposes and he discovered that he had diabetes type 2. Uh, so I told my doctor and she suggested to me that it would be a very good idea if I had a test because of my age they didn't test like they do these days for diabetes. Uh, when women are having uh, pregnant. So I did have a test and I found out, sure enough, that I had diabetes type 2. So she advised me what to do. It didn't dismay me too much because she was very good and she told me all about it and what I would have to do, which was mainly diet and also exercise. I follow very assiduously the, the doctor's uh, orders to see the podiatrist and the uh, dentist and the um, optician regularly and I have done that for the last 30 years and I have never had to go on to tablets or had insulin injections so I feel that I've been blessed. I was worried because I was older of course and I thought that maybe you know I would have to be very very careful but once the diet was explained to me and exercise and all those things that I had to do and I knew I was capable of following those instructions, uh, I, I didn't worry too much and then as I went on and had my blood tests, regular blood tests every couple of months and nothing was revealed that made matters worse, I felt that I'd be able to conquer it and just um, live out my life on, the way I had to but without worry. Very, very important is diet. Uh, equally important, I suppose, is exercise and keeping your weight down. Uh, and so, uh, and also um, going to the professional people who keep my uh, health checks going. And of course, first and foremost, the doctor on a regular basis who will quickly pick up anything that's um, going astray and pull me back into line. The diet is not a problem. I know what I can't eat, but I, I don't think about it a lot. I can, I know that I don't have now, I certainly don't have sugar, of course, nor do I have honey or jam or anything that's got added sugar to it and dairy I have to be careful about. Um, but lots of fruit and lots of vegetables, uh, no potatoes. I used to eat butter and I had to go to a, a special margarine for that. I don't eat uh, bread, but I'm not quite sure whether the bread is for the weight, because weight is very important. What else? I don't have cakes or cream. Um, occasionally I deviate if I go out. I might have the odd thing I shouldn't, but I, so I have grilled meat and I have a lot of salads. Uh, it's probably not very exciting when you when you hear it like that, but quite honestly, you get used to it and and you just take it in stride. So really, from a very early age, and I've forgotten to mention this, that I have always played tennis, and that of course is very good exercise. And I've played twice a week for all my married life, so that uh, that was a very good form of exercise. And I've played that up until two years ago. I don't play that anymore because I had a bit of a knee problem. When the doctor told me that, that I would have to exercise, uh, of course you wonder what, what's involved with that. And the first thing that's mentioned is walking. And, and that's highly recommended. Of course, as you get older, that's not quite so easy to take because of the weather and all that sort of thing. I exercise a lot. I walk when I can in the summer and I garden and I do four, four morning days at the gym. So uh, that's pretty well covered. I do three different sorts of exercise. I do strengthening exercises, which is um, carrying weights and so forth. 
and uh, balance, which is very important balance. So I do that uh, once a week. I do aerobics once a week, which is, is um, a fairly um, strenuous sort of thing. And I enjoy that. And I do another sort of exercise, which is a bit lazy. I call it lazy exercise. It's called relax and tone. And that's where you lie on beds and the machines, the beds, do the work for you, but take your limbs with, with the machine, if that's a reasonable explanation. And so you don't have to put the exertion into it that you have to do with the other two forms of exercise, but it's, um, it still is making you bend and stretch and so forth. And I find that, that relaxing and fun. Then there's the social aspect, of course, of the whole, whole three lots of exercises where you're meeting other ladies every time. We all have lunch together and we talk about travels and the world and clear up all the problems with the world and, and uh, it's a great social occasion. I think, I think that the fact that you have one doctor for a long time is a very good thing and my doctor has, has attended to me for about 40 years, I think, and she is very good. She explains things carefully. She makes the next appointment before I leave so that I'm always quite sure of when I have to go and it's very important that I do go and I don't think I have ever missed an appointment with her. If you have been diagnosed with diabetes, I suggest that it's, it's very, very important to stick to what the doctor says and do uh, assiduously everything like going to the dentist regularly, the optician and so forth because I can tell you that I have had a friend who didn't stick to her diet. She declared that she would eat anything she liked and when she liked it and I'm afraid that she's, she's no longer with us and that was definitely uh, through lack of diet and then of course through overweight which made her not want to exercise so much and the whole thing is a, is a calamitous situation. Diabetes does need to be taken seriously, but management is the key thing to do. And you have all those skills in your hand from the doctor. And if you follow all that, that direction, hopefully you won't have any problems and you'll live to 88 like I am. <laughs> <laughs>